All right, our first example is going to be something called a derangement. So we're talking about permutations, and we take a permutation of 1 to n, and it's called a derangement. If the ith position in the permutation is never i. All right, I give you two examples. Look at the permutation of 1 to 8, 3, 8, 7, 5, 4, 1, 2, 6. And see that the integer i is never in position i. Also look at 2, 1, 4, 3, 6, 2, 1, 4, 3, 6, 5, 8, 7. I was just kind of permuting consecutive ones. But you never have integer i in position i. So those are derangements. On the other hand, 5731468 is not a derangement. Do you see why? Again, 5731468 is not a derangement. Why? Actually, there are Two, two violations, right? There are two violations. One of them is the integer 3. 3 is in position 3. And another one is 6. 6 is in position 6. So either of those two would be a violation. And also 75318642 is not. And now why? Well, perhaps not the best example. The, the three and the six are still offending positions. Any any others? So I don't I don't see one. I just see the three and the six are problems. Okay. All right. So here's what I want you to do. Take out a piece of paper and write by hand all the derangements of the integers from 1 to 5. There are 120 permutations altogether. So if you get more than 120, you've done something wrong. But just take out a piece of paper and write all the permutations of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that are derangements and count them. I'm going to do the job up here, but I'm not going to project it. I want to see you do it by hand. Now, I'm going to bet that nobody is done. I'm going to bet that you're not even 100% certain of what work you've done up to this point is correct. It's real easy to make mistakes. Now, I started just by writing the permutations to start with two. And I got down here, and I already made two mistakes. And I'm not 100% confident that all the ones that I've listed are correct. So I wouldn't want to do this when n is 10 and not have somebody say, and you better get it right. 